In November 2022, OpenAI captured the world's attention with the launch of GPT 3.5. Tonight, we're taking a closer look at a new technology that's making waves in the world of AI. ChatGPT, a language model created by OpenAI, has the ability to respond to prompts in a human-like manner. Within days, it became a sensation, with thousands of developers, researchers, and tech enthusiasts eager to try it out. But little did they know, this was just the beginning. OpenAI has much bigger plans in mind. From OpenAI's mysterious project Strawberry to the most awaited projects like AI video tool Sora, we will explore everything. So let's find out. GPT-4, 4. Oh, custom GPTs. Following the success of GPT-3.5, OpenAI continued to innovate, leading to the release of GPT-4. GPT-3.5 was impressive but occasionally provided incorrect responses. To address this, OpenAI launched GPT-4, which significantly improved accuracy and safety. GPT-4 was trained on a vast data set using advanced techniques, making it 82% less likely to respond to disallowed content and 40% more likely to produce factual responses. But still, something was missing. OpenAI recognized the need for a more integrated and immersive AI experience leading to the development of GPT-40. GPT-40 provides GPT-4 level intelligence, but it is much faster and it improves on its capabilities across text, vision and audio. For the past couple of years, we've been very focused on improving the intelligence of these models and they've gotten pretty good. But this is the first time that we are really making a huge step forward when it comes to the ease of use. On top of that, OpenAI introduced custom GPTs. Today, OpenAI is introducing GPTs. These are custom versions of ChatGPT, meaning anyone can build their own GPT, basically an assistant that'll help you do tasks at work or at home. They use the example of, you know, teach a kid a certain version of math or learn all the rules to a board game. Or of course, companies can create custom GPTs for employees. Project Strawberry. Sam Altman recently generated significant interest with a tweet showing strawberries growing in a pot, captioned, I love summer in the garden. Although it might seem like an ordinary post, many in the AI community speculate that it could be a subtle hint towards OpenAI's secretive Project Strawberry. This has led to speculation that Project Strawberry could represent a major leap forward for OpenAI. On July 12th, Reuters reported that OpenAI is working on Project Strawberry as a novel approach to its AI models. According to internal documents and sources, the project aims to significantly enhance AI's reasoning capabilities, potentially enabling it to perform complex tasks such as navigating the internet autonomously and conducting deep research, areas where current AI models fall short. Recently, OpenAI launched the first model in the Strawberry series, named OpenAI01. This new series of AI models is designed to spend more time thinking before they respond, enabling them to reason through complex tasks and solve harder problems than previous models. The O1 model is expected to significantly advance AI's capabilities in science, coding, and math. GPT Next At the KDDI Summit 2024, Tadao Nagasaki, CEO of ChatGPT Japan, made a big announcement. He introduced a new model that may be called GPT Next. Nagasaki claimed it will be 100 times better than GPT-4. This news has sparked debates about the future of AI. This model is tied to something known as the Strawberry Project. The project aims to enhance multimodal abilities which means the AI will handle text, images, and video more effectively. Many believe GPT Next will use a smaller version of this technology. The model could work faster and more efficiently. Whatever the name, the model is expected to launch in 2025. Mira Murati, OpenAI's chief technology officer, shared her thoughts on this new development. She said, 
GPT Next may even be smarter than humans in certain tasks. This comment has caused excitement and speculation within the AI industry. Industry insiders are eagerly awaiting more details. Whether it is called GPT-5 or GPT Next, everyone expects a major leap forward. It could change how we use AI in daily life. Experts believe it will bring smarter responses and more advanced capabilities. Orion. Next up is OpenAI's new project, Orion. Orion is a large language model, and it's generating quite a buzz. However, it's important to note that Orion is actually a scaled-down version of OpenAI's previously announced project, Strawberry. So, what does this mean for Orion? OpenAI has been using synthetic data from Strawberry to train Orion. But what can we expect from this new model? When Strawberry was revealed in July 2024, it was noted for its strengths in logical reasoning, multi-step problem-solving, and handling complex tasks like math and programming challenges. Will Orion deliver a similar performance? Recent reports suggest that Orion might excel in diagnosing medical conditions and analyzing cybersecurity threats. Here's what sets Orion apart from previous OpenAI models. While most AI models are trained using real-world data from the web, Orion is trained with synthetic data from Strawberry. This cleaner, more controlled dataset enables Orion to learn patterns and make predictions more efficiently. As a result, Orion is expected to be faster, sharper, and more responsive compared to earlier models like ChatGPT. However, this innovative approach does come with its challenges. One potential issue is model collapse. If Orion relies too heavily on synthetic data, it might learn patterns that don't align with real-world data, potentially affecting its performance over time. Nevertheless, OpenAI is actively working to mitigate this risk. According to recent reports, Orion is already in its final stages. It has been demonstrated to U.S. national officials and is expected to be released by fall 2024. There is speculation that GPT-5 and Orion may be the same or closely related, but only time will reveal the truth. If you're interested in learning more about GPT-5, please let me know in the comments. I am planning to create a comprehensive video on that topic soon. Sora if you are thinking that this video was shot by a camera, you're wrong here. This is what Sora, this AI video tool, is capable of. Let's have a look at another one. This is no 3D animation, but the output Sora gives you when you enter a simple prompt in it. Isn't this amazing? Once you see these official videos by OpenAI, I bet you'll wait impatiently for the launch. While official details are still underway, the expected launch date is in late 2024 or early 2025. Rumors suggest it will be a hyper-advanced model that seamlessly integrates multiple AI functionalities, taking personal and professional productivity to new heights. It will be an AI model that not only understands text and images like GPT-4, but also processes video, audio, and real-time sensor data. It could analyze video footage, interpret sounds, and even handle live data from devices. This would make Sora a true multimodal powerhouse, with potential applications in fields like media, healthcare, education, and beyond. Officially, OpenAI has hinted that Sora will focus heavily on collaborative features, allowing users to work together with the AI in more interactive ways. This could mean new possibilities for co-creating content, solving problems, or running advanced simulations that are currently out of reach. The emphasis seems to be on making AI more of a partner than a tool, with enhanced adaptability and deeper contextual understanding. However, there are concerns about the dangers posed by Sora, especially around deepfakes and misinformation. The model could potentially generate harmful or misleading content, such as realistic but fake videos. Baby shark, do 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 do. Baby shark, do 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 do. Baby shark. 
that can disrupt elections or spread false information. Moreover, its training on biased datasets could perpetuate stereotypes, and its lack of understanding of physics could lead to odd, unrealistic video behaviors. We have already uploaded a comprehensive video about Sora and other AI video tools on our channel. To watch it, click the video on the card, and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any future content. Project Stargate, Figure 01 and Other Projects Now, there are some other projects by OpenAI that can be huge after some time. For example, Project Stargate isn't going to be a normal project. Project Stargate is a monumental initiative led by Microsoft and OpenAI, with the ambitious goal of achieving artificial general intelligence by 2028. Microsoft has been a significant partner for OpenAI. Under the leadership of Satya Nadella, Microsoft has invested heavily in OpenAI and integrated its technologies into various Microsoft products, enhancing its capabilities with cutting-edge AI. Furthermore, OpenAI is collaborating with the robotics company Figure AI to build humanoid robots. Hey, Figure One, what do you see right now? I see a red apple on a plate in the center of the table, a drying rack with cups and a plate, and you standing nearby with your hand on the table. In this partnership, OpenAI will provide advanced AI models that deliver high-level visual and language intelligence. Meanwhile, Figure's own neural networks will handle fast, low-level, dexterous robot actions. This makes them a competitor to companies like Boston Dynamics and more. Another interesting project is Search GPT, which aims to improve search engines by making them more intuitive and capable of understanding natural language queries better. This positions OpenAI in direct competition with other AI-powered search engines, including Perplexity AI. OpenAI 01 is a new series of AI models designed to solve complex problems by reasoning through them step by step. We're starting a series of new models uh, with a new name, 01. And this is to highlight the fact that you might feel different uh, when you use uh, 01 as a, compared to previous models uh, such as GPT-40. So as others will explain later, 01 is a reasoning model. So it will think more before answering your question. If you open ChatGPT4, you'll see this new GPT-01 model, which will spend more time thinking before responding. This model is particularly good at tasks that require deep thinking, like advanced mathematics and coding. Lastly, OpenAI is exploring the possibility of making its own chips. Yes, that's right. This could help optimize the performance of their AI models, and reduce dependency on third-party hardware, potentially leading to more efficient and powerful AI systems. Artificial General Intelligence, or AGI. Next, we have AGI, which stands for Artificial General Intelligence. If you think AGI is just another upcoming project from OpenAI, let me correct you. AGI is so advanced that it remains the biggest dream project of OpenAI. It's believed that every project they're currently launching is converging toward their ultimate goal, AGI. But what makes AGI a game changer in the world of AI? Let's dive in. AGI is designed to accomplish tasks that seem practically impossible for both AI and humans. It's expected to surpass human capabilities across a wide range of cognitive tasks boasting advanced deep learning, perception, and cognitive abilities. What's even more astonishing is that AGI will never get tired like humans. This superpower will allow it to learn and process data at unimaginable speeds. Additionally, AGI will be capable of self-learning and self-editing its code. Interestingly, not just OpenAI, but all major AI companies like DeepMind and Anthropic are striving to develop AGI. However, achieving AGI is no easy feat. The technology aims to replicate the human brain's efficiency, which operates with 100 billion neurons 
and 1,000 trillion synaptic connections using only 20 watts of power. This remarkable efficiency serves as a key inspiration for AGI research. Currently, researchers are focusing on enhancing the internal complexity of artificial neurons rather than just scaling up AI architectures. This approach is aimed at creating a more efficient and powerful AGI system. Recent reports suggest that a model called the Hodgkin-Huxley model is being used to replicate human cognitive processes in a deep neural network, potentially laying the groundwork for AGI development. As the name implies, AGI is generalized, meaning it can create software and adapt to any field or domain to operate autonomously, often surpassing human intelligence. It is expected to excel at complex reasoning, abstraction, planning, and generating insights beyond human capacities at an unimaginable speed. Watch this video on AGI to learn more.